it's not far anymore, even the uh, shields, uh, traffic shields, they say, you know, where it is. Bloody cold tonight. It's windy and cold. You can manufacture weapons and you can purchase ammunition, but you can't buy Vela and you can't pull arrows off an assembly line. So a sergeant said this. Well, Vela is, um, you don't write Vela like this, guys. It's not English. And uh, so here at Omar Beach, apparently this is uh, American soil. They, uh, they uh, sort of bought it, so you have to pass sort of a customs here with all sort of police and all that. So you pass into American uh, territory. Well, I'm not going in there. Fuck no. It's really, it's like a, uh, uh, like an airport or something. So this is Omaha Beach, the same sort of a water like uh, the, where the Washington Monument is. Look at it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's horrible. And I th apparently, yeah. So what I wanted to show you, and to get in here. Oh, man, the the the, the security is it's enormous. I mean, this is, this is what I wanted to show you. This is where I came for. Look, there it is. Like on the dollar. Here, it's all over. This is where they died for. This is the 666, June 6th, at 6 o'clock. And this is where they gave their lives for. It was a sacrifice, look. Here, there's the dollar. I probably find more things. It's all here. But, so, so why do they put the dollar here on all this? Why, why do you think? And why, like on the, uh, under a tree here, and uh, at the exterior side, look at it. I'm just under a tree because it's raining it's like half snowing and uh, yeah and these funny things here I don't know what that is very funny so I'll show it again once more there it is like on the dollar yeah nice the all-seeing eye the Horus Novus Ordo Cyclorum. So for the New World Order, they just had to get rid of a couple of Euro a couple of whiteies, a couple of Euro Europeans, because uh, they want to raise a human race, a, a a farmed race of slaves. So these were like special forces and the most intelligent, the most beautiful, the most strong of humanity, and they, uh, well. They had to disappear. You know, only the workers could stay, the ones who made the uh, Liberty boats and all that. Right? Right. So that's symbolically for the ashes of the, of the dead. But it means also our gra the grain, the grail, sorry. Our blood is here. And, uh, well, here you can read it, or maybe not, maybe it's too far. Uh, this is about the war, and uh, here as well, I don't think you can read this here like this. <laughs> Look at the compass. <laughs> yeah, the compass. That's the other side. Our fellow countrymen. <laughs> Sacrifices. It says. <sighs> That's almost that's the same as the uh, the CIA with the uh, the uh, NATO symbol in it. 
Now let's have a closer look. Well, it says this embattled shore portal of free, and yeah, no, I say free, freedom, well, etc. And, uh, well, looks like the bull's horns, especially from the other side. Sacrifice of mankind. Hmm. And here we can see a wall with engraved all the names all around there, yeah. Probably with all the man that fell. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. All the names, it's all around. It's, it's, it's a lot. So I'm here on the other side of the wall. We can see the, the seal of the, uh, of the United States. With here the flag of Israel, there, in it, like on the dollar. And uh, <laughs> here it says 666. What oh, nice, hey? Ooh, 6th June, June the 6th, which is the sixth month at 6 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So this is the other side of the, uh, it says the American uh, where is it? Uh, Monument Commission, Battle, American Battle Monument Commission, oh. and that's the uh, cemetery again, I know it's fast. I can take up my camera, it's still raining, so um, yeah, I'm standing under a tree. I don't know if I want to film there. This was the monument with the 666 there on that wall. Oh, you can see it. And the, uh, the dollar on the other side. Well, what, what has the dollar to do with it? It's all about money and power. Here we go. We're being watched all over, probably looking at me. I mean, in France, uh, it wouldn't be. This is a, this is little America here. And I don't fancy it at all. I prefer France. And here, so this is cemetery. We're gonna have a look now. There, somebody playing golf here. Yeah. Okay. So this is an octagon. Octagon. They're the ones who ordered the Templars. And here's a flag here and all that, you know, American flag, octagon, don't be mistaken, octagon is very much alive, there's another one, it's very real, okay, I have to put my cam inside, it's wet. So there's a couple of Jews here as well, Baumgart. Yeah. Ohio. And uh, here's some more, see, Hebrews, there's some more, so they died as well, so um, it's not them, it's not them we're looking for, it's the, um, it's the nobility, the black nobility, the Templar, Switzerland, they're the ones we're looking for, so I mean if the Jews like would have had all the power as many people say, and why are they live, lying here? He's just a sergeant, look. Just a sergeant. He's not even a colonel telling us what to do. <sighs> See what I mean? I'm not a Jew lover or something, but you just have to be honest, you know. Uh, I really want to have the, uh, the enemy within. I want to have them nailed. See, well, I mean, this is a proof. This is not, it's not fake, you know, here yeah, as well. Probably it's just a plain soldier. Yeah, see what I mean? It's Switzerland, the Templars, the Nazi Templars, the Freemasons, the Pharaohs. They're the ones. Row up. Yeah, there it says Gottlieb. Just a private. Nothing more. 
Just a simple private. Uh, it's Switzerland. They did it. They finance it. They're the ones. They're the Templars. All the rest is crap. It's the pharaohs, the nobility, the per a. So here are more proofs. Octagon and all that. The all-seeing eye, the pyramid, the pharaohs. So here inside, like in the uh, church, we see Isis, the Statue of Liberty. It has seven uh, thing, uh, things on it, like on the, uh, the monument I uh, filmed before. Mm. And uh, well, I can't really see the, everything, so maybe I'll look at it later. And here's sort of a, uh, an altar, an altar. So this is for the Christians, I suppose, and a, a little one for the Hebrew people. Uh, I don't even have very much. Uh, and uh, so this for the Christians, for the Hebrews, and up there it's for the Pharaohs, Isis. And uh, so here's part of the cemetery. That's why I was before. Uh, and uh, the graves are marble. If you want, if you'd like to know, it's real marble. Must have cost a fortune. All this marble. The forest of marble statues. So that's for the Christians, and they say, through the gates of death may they pass to their joyful resurrection. And that's for the Hebrews on the other side, the other blokes there, the uh, Ten Commandments, and it says, from their book, think not only upon their passing, remember the glory of their spirit. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody remembers me, what I'm trying to show you. Okay. So there's the cross, and there's again for the other blokes there. Yeah, all right. And, uh, Too bad it's raining. I hear a bell. The bells of glory. So this here at Omaha Beach, this is where the man had to climb up to, the probably machine gun nests and all that. Look, it's like 45 degrees deep. So, um, you know, it will, cost, uh, it will cost a lot of lives. You know that beforehand. Well, the general was in his ship there probably. The, the Pharaoh and the Freemason, he picked this out because it's so difficult, you know, as it is a sacrifice. So uh, he said to the man, well, you go here and then uh, it's easy to kill you, to send the, uh, the, the, uh, the grenades and the cannons and the machine guns, you know, it's so easy to kill you here. That's the Horus Matrix, it is, you know, yeah, it's, uh, you know, like... 
look, look, it's steep, you know, it's, it's more than, it, it's, it's 60 degrees here. You know, it will cost a lot. It was done by purpose, a sacrifice, yeah. And the generals always send you there, where he can kill you. You understand now? They send you there where he can kill you. Where the pharaohs can kill the Europeans. Get up the hill, the generals shouted. And the ones who didn't, they got shot by the generals. Executed. Get up the hill, you know, so we can kill you. We, the generals, kill you. And the other generals, they give the orders to the other soldiers, they do it. And the Jews, who didn't want to, uh, they said, well, I'm not going to go in the army, I might get killed. And it's again my religion, I don't do that. So the pharaohs had to find another solution for that. The final solution they did. And the Jews still don't want to go in the army, the orthodox ones, even if it's the Israeli army, like. So uh, this is the Horus Matrix. Just get up the hill and the, the generals kill you, the pharaohs. So to, uh, we are a farmed human race it is. So it's Omaha Beach. So here's the sea, the D-Day sea. There's uh, Point de Hoc. Where, oh, I don't see him really. Where they had to climb up really steep, which we see in all the movies. And uh, well, here's like Omaha Beach. Get up here, sons of bitches! I'm your general, I'm the Pharaoh! I'm the Templar! Uh, I'm in the Freemasonry Lodge, get up here so I can kill you! And my other general friends in the German army, they can kill you! There's a uh, machine gun nest here, or whatever. We're gonna kill you! It was a sacrifice. A 666 sacrifice. Well, I showed you the number there. It's even there. Uh, don't believe your generals. Don't believe the politicians. They're all lying. Believe the magic circle there. See? I mean, be your own general. A warrior doesn't take orders. And between the uh, the beach, the Omaha Beach, and the uh, the machine guns and uh, the hill, they could have done a bit of jungle warfare. Well, isn't it nice? See. Probably full of loads of bodies still in here. Skeletons. It's all here. Jungle warfare, beach warfare, hill warfare. Nice, eh? Just feel like in Hollywood, you know, that's they want you to think. You're gonna be the hero like feeling in a Hollywood movie. And the general just wants to have you dead. Dead. You know. Don't be a soldier, be a warrior. Fight the enemy within. And not the other soldier in another uniform. So here we got a double version of Isis, or let's say the sisters of Isis. With, uh, with Horus, the falcon god. And Horus, Horus is the child which he raised alone, you know, without the man. There it is again. So that means we have the man kill each other and they all die. So we can raise mankind new from scratch. The only one missing here is like Seth or Osiris. I have no clue where the bugger is. And this actually is the biggest sun hieroglyph I've ever seen. The bar on each side, as I show in the Pharaoh show, and here in the middle, you got the round thing. I, I showed from the other side. Okay, do it very slowly for you. So this is the sun. Remember the Pharaoh show, the round thing in the middle. Here's the sun. Yeah. So we go all around here. Uh, as I showed in all these houses. 
Yeah. Well, there you go. One bar on one side here. It's about two soccer fields long. You know, like on the houses. And then we got the sun in the middle and the two bars on each side. That's on the houses. It's all symbology. There we got the other one here. And this is the original Isis with Horus. The, uh, as I showed before, with the, uh, the whole thing of this here, the sacrifice, the 666 sacrifice, is the Horus Matrix to raise mankind, the man, new from scratch. And the women, they, uh, the witches, they have this, uh, the white witches, they have an alliance with Seth, or Seth on, Mr. Hitler, you know, and all the others. So, I showed this before, so this is a, uh, a chicken, or a, uh, a rusa. So this is La Marianne, because it's on French soil, which is Isis as well, as Venus, Venus for the perverts, ah, that was a joke and for the Romans, and uh, Helvetia for the Swiss, and the, uh, st the Statue of Liberty for the Yanks. So, um, and that's Isis, La Marianne, because the Statue of Liberty was given by the French Masons, uh, uh, the Neuf Sœurs. Uh, yeah, so this is the Sun hieroglyph. That's Isis with the falcon. says World Peace Statue. Oh, yeah, Normandy Beach. Omaha Beach. All sort of animals are coming to me now. What's that? Nice. Thank you. So this is Omaha Beach. Here's a magic circle. Mushrooms made it. It's called the magic circle. Maybe I'm going to stand in between it. Let's <laughs> see what happens. There it is. So here's Omaha Beach. You can hear the sea. And here's the uh there's the cemetery. Oh, it's so big. So this is European spirituality and uh, belief against all the uh, of the foreign powers, all their beliefs who are very foreign to us. And uh, we are being forced to believe in all these pharaonic beliefs and all that. And the results, I mean, this is the result of all that. Uh, 